So now I'm going to show you what we're going to do in Kim's garden to try and resolve this problem of the really clay and sandy soil. We've dug another hole, you can see there Kim, and we've dug it extra around so we can add some soil around the pot with mixed in with some stuff. And Willow's going to show, help me with the soil here. So Willow, you can help me mix this in darling. We're just going to mix it in the top because there's a lot of soil here we won't need at all. So we're going to put this stuff in, it's called zeolite. Okay. And this will help absorb some of the water and hopefully stop it from pooling in the pot like it's doing. And this is right soil here. conditioner. And this is full of my this is organic soil conditioner. And it's full of microbes and all kinds of good stuff. And then I've got my little homemade worms here with paper so we're going to mix some of this in too we're just going to dump all this in because i've been dying to get rid of these worms it's got some new paper that's right now see there's some little wormies in there see that be careful you don't squish them that's right well they're all right they'll survive darling i wouldn't worry too much so now that's pretty smelly so just be careful so we're going to mix this all through like this okay it's like making a big cake hey Mix the paper through like that. Oh, look at those wormies. Lots of wormies. Oh, how fun is that, hey? You're doing a good job there. It is squishy, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah. Well, you, need your, you need your dirty clothes on for this job, don't you? So now what we'll do, Willow, we're going to put some in the bottom of that hole, darling. There's a whole bunch here that's still quite sloppy. See that? Yeah. With all those worms in it? Yeah. We're going to put that in the bottom of this hole here. Oh, this is a big hole. So we'll put some of that in the bottom there. That's the girl. That's the way. Now, you know what we might need to do? It's such a big hole, we're going to have to put some of this down the bottom as well. So we'll just throw a little bit in, of this in. Fill that hole up a bit more now. And a bit more of this. You see, Paul dug a beautiful big hole there. Yeah, it's a bit too big. Oh, that doesn't matter. We've got all this soil we can fill it up with. That's the girl. You're a good little helper. Okay, that might do, hey? Now, where's our little pot? So let's see if we can get there. That's pretty good. See there? Mm -hmm. Okay, darling. Now what we want to do is fill that soil around the pot, okay? Get not uh, in it. That's right. It doesn't matter if some goes in. We can dig it out later. So we're going to fill that all up around the edge. And this has got all the zeolite in it and the worms. And, and you could add some gypsum in that as well if you've got the money. I don't know what gypsum costs, it's probably cheap. So this is a big job, isn't it? <laughs> so you could be you might be able to help your dad do the other ones then, hey? That's a lot stick. Yeah, you can put the stick in, it'll break down, that's the girl. Just chuck it in, that's the way. Oh, we might shorten this later so that we we can cut the video and then we'll show just keep filming Kim and I'll, mm -hmm. and I'll cut this you know I'll shorten it. Mm -hmm. Oh look there's some nice wormies there, look at that. Yeah, we'll put them over here. Right? That's it. We could have probably used a spade for this. Hey? We, we should have got Daddy to do this, hey? <laughs> we should have mm -hmm. got the big man. But us girls can do this too, though, can't Quicker. we, Willow? Quicker. There, we're just about there, darling. So, let's get some more here. And there's a bit more paper, there's bound to be some more. There. Oh, there's some wormies there. And you know what you can put, um, you know what works really well too is putting 
uh, shredded wet paper on the top and as long as you keep it moist the worms will actually come up and eat the paper too so they'll you know that's if you could be bothered shredding paper and going to all that trouble like cutting yeah now you don't need to compact it down too much darling because it'll it'll compact down all by itself okie dokie what do you reckon that looks pretty good doesn't it mm -hmm. Okay, so now what we're going to do... Nick loves this. You do, don't you? It's a pretty dirty job, hey? So now we've got a really dirty job to do. We're going to move this, and rather than dig this pot up, we're just going to empty it all into here. We can leave that pot there for now. Oh, actually, darling, let me do this, because this is really stinky, mm. smelly stuff. And what's that rubber band? <laughs> <laughs> Won't that decompose? <laughs> So, we're going to put all this in here. Yuck. Oh, that's stinky, stinky. But you can see how it's all down the bottom. Mm -hmm. See how that's turning into beautiful soil? Yeah. And it will turn into beautiful soil. And if this soil wasn't so bad, it would be disappearing into the ground. We're hoping that this little solution will work. And we're going to do a little test to see. That's very, very wet down the bottom of there. So ideally, when you go to dig out your pot, that should, that should be like that at the end of it. It should look like that, not like that. When you want to... Um, so if it looks like that, you can still use it, but dig a hole and dig it down deep into the soil. And it'll take a long time to break down, but it will... So you could still spread that around the garden, but you need to dig it deep down into the ground. Mm. And, I mean, who's got time for that? Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. So now we're going to put the lid on. And you can put the lid up the other way if you want. We're going to do it that way. And then we're going to cover it up. And that's it, darling. How about that? Too easy, right? And you can help your daddy do the rest. And we'll come back in a couple of weeks and see how they go, okay? Thank you so much for helping me. You're a great little helper.